Good afternoon and welcome back. Once again, my name is John. I am Orphan Car Garage, Abington, Massachusetts, and we're about 30 minutes south of Boston. I want to give everybody fair warning here right out of the gate. Uh, objects on your screen may appear larger than they really are. And by that, I mean the car here in front of us. Does anybody know what this car is before I announce what it is? Because I didn't when it pulled in here last week for consignment. Yes, it's got a Suzuki emblem on the on the hood, but certainly not a Suzuki that was sold here in the U.S. That's because it wasn't. What we're looking at is a 1993 Suzuki Cappuccino. The Suzuki Cappuccino is a tiny car from Japan, part of the K car class of cars in Japan in the early 1990s. Not to be confused with the K cars we had here in the U.S., thanks to Mr. Ayakoka. Nothing to do with that. This particular class of cars in Japan offered its buyers steep incentives, discounts on insurance, parking, and taxes. It was an incentive to get the Japanese people to buy small cars, and it worked, especially in the metropolitan areas. Most K-class cars, however, were more utilitarian, station wagons and sedans. What we have here in front of us is a K-Car class sports car. Honda had a similar car known as the Beat. You may have heard of that. I particularly like this car. Yes, right-hand drive. How cool is that? This car was imported to the US not all that long ago, 2021. Its current owner brought it to Massachusetts from its exporter or importer, as it were and had the car legally titled here in Massachusetts. So we have a clean, legal Massachusetts title for the car. And it was, of course, imported here from Japan legally. So that should uh, put any worry to rest of any potential buyers that are worried about paperwork nightmares. That's all been done for you. We got a great Massachusetts title for the car. So very interesting on these cars is the is the roof configuration. There are several different configurations of the roof, which I'm going to get to in a second. Just kind of want to do a quick walk around. It's got a real pretty emerald metallic green paint with sort of a graphite top and top panels, which I'll get to, obviously. Uh, very well equipped these cars were for a small Japanese car. Every one of these cars, from what I understand, were equipped, was equipped with air conditioning, and this one's no different. And the air conditioning works in this vehicle. Just wanna make sure of that. Also, the car has power windows mounted there on the um, console and a glass rear window with defroster, just to mention a few. So these cars weren't weren't uh, baseline cars by any means. These were little sports cars. Now, of course, your dash clusters in kilometers. So you've got a 140 kilometer speedometer, which in US uh, miles per hour equals about 84 miles per hour. Yes, it's, it's like stepping back in time here in the US to the 1970s with those 85 mile an hour mile per hour speedometers. So obviously it's not a super fast car. It has a little three cylinder turbo. But when you consider the car is only about 10 feet long and only about 1600 pounds, a three cylinder turbo does the job. Suzuki claimed that these would do zero to 60 in about eight seconds when they were new. Most buyers claimed that that was a little optimistic. So because of that, a lot of these cars got modified, heavily modified. You'll notice right away that this car is not one of those. Obviously very well cared for by its Japanese owner. Kept very, very stock with very few modifications. One of them is a factory uh, upgrade or accessory and it's a bigger exhaust. But that is a Suzuki issued performance exhaust. It's not aftermarket. The other uh, update was under the hood. I'll get to that in just a second, but I'm gonna go over the top. So the top on this car is super, super cool. Several different configurations to this top. This kind of gives the car a Targa appearance with this rear roof panel here in the upright position, but this actually stows away and turns the car into a complete convertible. There's a little switch here with an arrow and a release lever and voila, you've got a full convertible in about two seconds with one hand. What a great feature that is. Now, 
to raise the roof panel. There's a little storage compartment back there, which is kind of a nice thing. Same thing to bring it up. Snaps right into place, back to Targa. You want T-tops? You got T-tops. We got a three-piece hardtop that fills that void over the um, driver and passenger seats. So you could actually just install that centerpiece if you wanted. You have a T-top configuration. And then you've got a right and the left uh, roof panel over each the driver and the passenger. There's a very interesting reason why Suzuki decided to make that a three-piece roof. And that was that all three pieces could be stowed away neatly in the trunk. This car has its original storage bags for those panels as well. Those storage bags many times are missing by now. This car has the storage bags. We have pictures of those on our website, orphancargarage.com. And of course, those roof panels are painted that same graphite as the rest of the top. So three-piece hard top, four-piece really, if you think about the rear panel, and it was made specifically that way so you could store all the pieces comfortably in the trunk. Pretty ingenious of them, if you ask me. There is no rust on this car whatsoever. A lot of these cars, along with being modified, suffered from rust. None of that on this car. Clean, clean, clean. I can send anybody any kind of pictures that they want. But like, like I said, on our website, we've got tons of pictures already. So check that out. The original interior... Uh, really good condition again the dashboards in these many times got bunged up and dried out and cracked there's a little bit of that a little bit of that right there but what I've seen online with others of these that have been sold or for sale this is in really good shape compared to some of the ones that I had seen really good I'm gonna open the hood for you now and show you that powerhouse three-cylinder interestingly enough the release for the Hood is in the glove box. Took us a while to find that. Right here. There we go. And there you have it. A three three cylinder turbo. Prop this, prop this up here. There we go. You can probably have already noticed the second upgrade this car had, and that's the blow-off valve for the turbo. Kind of gives it a nice sound as you take off down the road and also opens it up a little bit more. Uh, fully serviced. This car needs nothing. You can see it's got fairly recent silicone wires and an also very important upgrade. In Japan, the timing belt has been done, and that's the decal to signify when it was done. I'm a little... Um, I'm a little bit, I have to brush up on my Japanese to be able to read that, but that's what that decal means. The timing belt has been replaced. Close this again. Okay. So there you have it. A 1993 Suzuki Cappuccino. These cars are becoming very popular with younger collectors. They're very hard to find especially in this condition. Orphan Car Garage pricing, $13,900. $13,900 for this very unique, very rare Suzuki Cappuccino. Check us out on the web, orphancargarage.com. Like us on Facebook. Uh, subscribe to us here on YouTube. Uh, what else can I say? Give me a call, 508-954-8090. This won't last long. Thank you.